If you ever program for Apple's older UI frameworks, that's AppKit and UIKit, you'll know they prefer to use classes for their views rather than structs. In SwiftUI, we don't. We prefer to use structs across the board, and there are several reasons why. First, there is an element of performance. Structs are simpler and faster than classes. Now, I say an element because a lot of folks think this is the primary reason SwiftUI uses structs, when really, it's just part of a bigger picture. In UIKit and AppKit, every class comes from some other class. You build them up, building up functionality. UI view will say things like the background color, the constraints it has for determining layouts, a layer for rendering its content, and much, much more. There are lots of these pieces of functionality, and they build up and build up and build up, because every UI view and every UI view subclass inherits these things. That's how inheritance works. In SwiftUI, our views are trivial structs, and they're almost free to create. Think about it. If you've got a struct with a single integer inside, the entire size of your struct is that one integer. That's it. Nothing else. No surprise extra stuff brought in from grandparent classes or great grandparent classes and beyond. They contain exactly what you say and nothing more. Now, thanks to the power of modern iPhones, I wouldn't think twice about making a thousand integers or 10,000 integers or a hundred thousand integers. They're lightning fast. And the same is true of SwiftUI views. A thousand SwiftUI views, even 10,000 SwiftUI views are basically free. However, as performance is really important, I know it is, there's something else that these struct views force us to think about. And that is how we isolate state in a really clean way. You see, classes, as you've seen, they can change their values inside freely. Even when you think the classes themselves are constant, if the properties inside a variable, they can just smash through the constant wall and make changes. It can lead to a lot of messy code. How would SwiftUI know when a value is changed in order to update the UI, for example. By making views that don't surprise mutate over time, SwiftUI encourages us to build a more functional design approach. Our views become simple, inert things that convert data into UI, rather than being intelligent things that grow out of control. Now you can see this in action when we look at code like this, color.red. The, this is a view right now. It's the kind of thing that can be a view right now is color.red and, and linear gradient and angular gradient and simple, simple, simple things. Trivial things that hold basically no data. You honestly can't get much simpler than color.red. All we're saying is the only information it holds is fill my area with red. That's it. In comparison, Apple's documentation for UI view, the core view type for UI kit lists hundreds of properties and methods that the UI view has, that it gets from elsewhere and passes on to every one of its children, whether they need them or not. So structs are faster, yes, but they're simpler to think about and simpler to work with. They contain exactly what we say. It's a huge advantage having structs of views. I would say, if you use a class for your view, you might find your code either refuses to compile or just crashes at runtime. Please trust me on this. Use a struct for your SwiftUI views.